when you are Nick Shell. Not if, but when you are Nick Shell. You wake up in the morning, you turn off your alarm on your phone, and this is what you see. You see a comment from a video you recently made called No Pomade All Day, Hair Stays in Place Anyway, Six Months Since My Last Zero Guard Buzz Cut. And our friend Vicky Elijah, who has been following this channel for a while and been leaving comments for a while, had this question, quote, can you make a video of you combing your hair and seeing how much hair is on the comb, please, end quote. The answer is yes, I can do that. This is that. So before I do this thing, so as people are spending time to watch me comb my hair, uh, I want to point out why. Why is anybody watching this right now? Because ultimately, one of the frequently asked questions I get on this channel is from younger guys. They'll say, how much hair do you lose on your pillow in the shower when you fix your hair? My answer is noticeably really none. I can recall back when I was a teenager, I remember I would lose more hair. I would shed more hair, maybe in my early 20s, maybe. But I think it was simply the fact that I had more hair. My hair was thicker and it was like I shed more. Now that I have less density, I'm not noticing hair being lost. I will also say though, that I'm not typically combing my hair or messing with my hair much. Maybe like every other day, I'll comb my hair after I dry it, but then I mess it up again, just to kind of give it this look that I have where I am not using pomade. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna comb my hair and we're gonna see how many hairs will show up in this comb. I predict between zero and three. I just don't shed hair much. But let's see what happens. And I'm even going to do the fine, fine part of the comb as opposed to the wider part, just because I think that would capture more hair if I'm going to lose hair in the process. Okay, here we go. Not so far. Yeah, I'm not losing any hair. Okay, so I've now combed the whole top. Now I'll comb the whole side. Do I have any hair on there? Nope, not yet. Now let's comb the other side. Comb the, well, let me check that. Still nothing. Comb the back. There. I've combed all of my hair. And just for good measure, let me comb it one more time like this. Nothing. So I've lost zero hairs in the process of combing my hair with a comb. Let me do this. Let's see if, if I'm, no hairs. What if I like tease my hair outward, like do like this, see if I can get some hairs. Cause what I'm doing is I'm literally like closing my fingers and pulling it out like that. I mean, not like forcefully, but just like teasing my hair like that. I haven't lost any hair by doing that. So what have we learned from this video? We've learned that no matter what you leave in a comment, there's a good chance I'll make a video about it because the free market will support a lot of interesting requests that I wouldn't think, hey, I should do a video combing my hair, but people will watch it because it meets the foundational, fundamental needs of what they're already wanting to know. What we've learned here is I, I don't shed hair that much, really. Not noticeably. <laughs> That's a cool look, isn't it? <laughs> But I, this is, I guess, the theory that I will insert in this video, is that ultimately, when you're younger and you have thicker hair, you tend to shed more by default because you have more to shed. When you have less to shed, it's almost like the hair that I have is most, most of the hair I have now is committed to staying. It survived. Keep in mind, and I've pointed this out in other videos where I've showed pictures of myself as, as you know, as a teenager, 17, 18, is that. In theory, I've my hairline's been changing since I was a teenager. I mean, you can look when I was 17, and you can see it was already going back here. And then by my early 20s, you could see I was Norwood too. And it's been noticeably thinning on top since I was 30. That's seven and a half years ago. And I still have this much hair. So in theory, when you do the math, more than half of my life, my hairline's been changing and, and my density's been changing, but I've still got this much hair. The reason I'm making this video ultimately is to remind everybody just because you see changes in your hairline and even your density, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be going bald anytime soon. 
I think a lot of guys freak out when they see those loose hairs on the pillow, shower, or when they comb their hair. And it's just no true indication that that's a, a sign of hair loss. That itself is not a, hair, a sign of hair loss. I've got my hair loss theories, and if you're not familiar with them, keep watching my channel because, especially while I'm wearing this flannel shirt and I look like this with the beard, I'm gonna be talking more about that, reminding new subscribers and viewers my theories on that. So in closing, let me just straighten this up because that's bothering me. Not that that looks better. There you go. Your comments belong right here.